Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In this video, I will show you how you can try recharging the AC by yourself on a 2006 Dodge Grand Caravan. This video applies to Dodge Caravans made from 2001 all the way up to 2007. Okay, to start, you want to lift up the front hood. Now, I will be using this uh, AC recharge kit. Um, you can pretty much buy these kits anywhere like uh, Walmart, Target, Amazon, eBay or even any car parts store. They cost around 30, 40, 50 bucks depending on the store. So it's not too bad. Good thing is once you have this, uh, this tool, all you need to recharge the kit, to recharge the AC on the other vehicle are these cans which cost around five bucks each. So pretty much each summer you can recharge your AC for five to ten bucks. Now some people will say, and there will be lots of comments on, under this video, don't do it like this, don't use this cheap method, this and that, most the mechanics will complain. Um, honestly, I've been using these recharge kits on over 200 vehicles, I own a small car lot, so every summer I recharge AC on each vehicle. With this, it's cheap and definitely doable. All you have to be careful, just not to overcharge it. So that's why you have this. Um, don't go into the red, that's the most important thing. So most vehicles will need maybe one or two cans. If you have a van like this with um, rear AC, you might need more. But uh, yeah, if you follow my instructions, you should be good. But I will always advise you and suggest if you can afford it, go to the shop, pay uh, like a full full amount and do it professionally. That's definitely always better option. But if you want to save money, especially if you drive like an older van, um, why not why not doing it by yourself and saving some cash? Now, if there is a leak in your system, this will unfortunately not work because the refrigerant will just leak out. Um, in that case, you can try using uh, like a special can of this. It's called uh, Stop Leak. It's also refrigerant mixed with something else, which can uh, stop small seal leaks and things like that. But if you have a major leak, you have to take it to a shop to get it diagnosed and uh, fixed. First, I will explain you how this will work. So on this side, you will screw the can while this pin is lifted up because inside here, this pin will pierce the can. And the other side, this side with this uh, sleeve will connect to the low pressure charging port on the van. Okay, so to start, like I said, first you will screw the can onto this side all the way have it nice and tight but do not pierce the can yet with this pin wait because first you have to connect the sleeve to the low pressure uh, charging port to close the the circuit so the low pressure charging port is located right here under this black cap so you can just remove the cap it's always a black cap this is how it look So what, what you will do next, you will lift this sleeve and connect this connector to that low pressure charging port down there. It's a bit tight fit, but definitely doable. So it has to sit nicely. Okay, mine is all good. So this, this is how this will look once it's connected. So once you have this side connected, then you can pierce the can by screwing this pin all the way in. Okay, so like I said, just pierce that can. Okay, I'm trying to work with one hand, record with the other one. But I think it's pretty obvious what has to be done. So you wanna pierce it all the way in. And once you do that, everything will be ready to start charging the AC. Okay, good to go. Okay, so the next thing you will do, you will get inside the van, start it and set the blowing to the highest setting. Okay. 
so like I said you want to make sure that front is all the way the rear is all the way the AC is actually turned on and this is turned on as well for the air to circulate inside the cabin and once the van is running and this is set up like this you can proceed outside to start charging it now with this just take your time there is no rush to do this fast so the important thing is the can has to be set upside down and now just slowly release this pin and the refrigerant will get into the system you don't have to do the whole can at once what i like to do once the half of the can is empty i like to go inside the cabin and check if ac is blowing any cooler or not and make sure to keep checking the pressure at all times okay now i will go inside to see if i'm getting anything okay so now i am inside the van so i like to check with my hand if i can feel the the air being a bit cooler or something now I know this is a big van the system is quite big I've put only like a half a can inside but I think I do feel it uh, being a bit cooler but anyways I will still proceed outside and continue charging it Okay, my first scan is done and now I will proceed inside again to check uh, how it is. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling, feeling cold air now. It's not like stone cold, but I'm definitely getting there. Uh, I did one can, even the garage is not showing uh, being, being charged yet. So I know on these vents from experience I'll have to do at least two or three cans because the system was uh, completely empty. Okay, so when you are changing the cans, um, do not just unscrew the empty can because what you will do, you will open the system and all the refrigerant from the van system will leak out because it's gonna be opened, right? So what you have to do, you first want to disconnect this low pressure charging port and then unscrew the can, so just like this. Okay. And once it is done, then you can safely unscrew the can and, and uh, repeat the process from the beginning of this video. So first screw on the new can, then connect the low pressure charging port and then pierce the can and continue charging. Now in case you didn't use the whole can, there is maybe still half of the can left if you just needed to top up your AC a bit. Um, what you want to do before discharging, uh, before disconnecting the low pressure charging port, you want to screw in this pin all the way and then disconnect it. That way you can reuse that can anytime in the future. Okay, so I will not show you how I am using the second and third can. It's pretty obvious. Uh, just repeat the process. Um, so you'll have to keep charging it until uh, the AC starts blowing cold and until uh, this shows it's full. So make sure to keep checking both of those and hopefully you'll be able to save some money and uh, enjoy your summer. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing and joining my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel, channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.